Declan, it's been a, a busy week for you. You signed for the New Saints and you played in the game against Buckley Town during the week. You came on as a substitute, but you found the net. Yeah, I've, I've over, obviously only had technically three days training um, with the boys and, and in between that, the, the 30 minutes against Buckley and then <coughs> I think it was 60 minutes today. So um, a, wee, a wee bit behind the lads in terms of um, fitness work and, and all round work on the training field so um, but it's been really good to get a run out in the two games and um, and kind of get up to speed. And when we did our first interview in the week you promised goals while well, you scored against Buckley and you also found the net today against Bangor City. Yeah um, it's just obviously it's, it's difficult it's, it's friendly games and, and what I was meaning was was goals um, in in the league and, and in Europe, but it's it's good to build the confidence um, and hitting the net uh, every day in training. When you get friendly games, hit the net and it builds the confidence for a striker. So it's good to good to do that. Yeah. And not just scoring as well, but that was a well worked team effort for Danny Redmond's goal, and you were the one that put the ball in into the path of Redmond who found the back of the net. Yes. Yeah, it's part of my job as well. It's it's not just score all the goals and, and do nothing else. Um, you've got to work hard for the team, and you've you've got to create things for other players as well. Or, um, you just become one dimensional. So um, I'm glad to I won the penalty, obviously for for Brobs as well, and um, and then set up Danny for the for his goal as well. So all day uh, all round, it was a good good day for me. And although it's just been those two games this week, how do you feel that your play and TNS's play harmonise together? Uh, obviously, I need to, I need to keep working with the gaffer and, and Sergeant and, um, and how the team play and, and me getting used to that. And but I feel in the, the first two outings I've had, that I've, I've managed to um, kind of fit in and and. and do what they, they obviously they've asked of me and obviously it'll take a wee bit more time as well and a few more games in pre-season to, to get right up to speed and to the best of my ability but um, now I'm, I'm feeling good. And finally Declan in our interview that I referred to uh, just now you talked about the game on Saturday or we talked about the game sorry uh, yesterday yeah. um, between England and Scotland nil nil in the end. Yeah um, I think no one knows Hearts from Scotland, in my opinion, um, with the chances created. And listen, England's population is is massive compared to Scotland's, and, and in terms of talent in their squad, they've obviously got a lot better uh, and a lot broader talent than, than Scotland has. So, for every Scottish person watching last night, they, they're so proud of the, the, the team, the way they played, and. For, for large parts of a bit, much better team, um, created better chances as, as I said and could have nicked it but um, the draw helps us in terms of it keeps our hopes alive, a qualification and take that on, a, I'm sure we'll take that on a Tuesday and, and go all guns blazing at Croatia. Well, we are north of the English border next week, of course, on a pre-season camp and no doubt we'll chat again about all things Scotland. Yeah.